Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about sleep and hormones and how if you're having a hard time sleeping, it could be due to hormonal imbalance. Yes, especially if uh, you have other hormonal issues too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A lot of times women think, oh my gosh, I'm just struggling to maintain my energy throughout the day. I'm really having a hard time losing weight. Oh my gosh, yes, I, I realize my sleep isn't the, the greatest either, but hmm, maybe if I work out more, I'll sleep better. Maybe if I take this supplement, I'll sleep better. And oftentimes it's really due to our hormones that your sleep is off. It's not something you can just magically fix. You have to really work with your body and systems to get the right things taken care of. So I've written down a few things here, a few different hormones that play a big role in your sleep patterns. Now, keep in mind, if you're not sleeping well on a consistent basis, your metabolism isn't working. This is so true for women. Again, men, totally different story. Men can not get the best sleep and still manage to lose weight just fine. <laughs> of course, right? Ah. Um, and I talk about some of these things. So really keep in mind that with this, um, with this information, it's really geared for the female body. Now, when we're looking at, you know, sleep and hormones and everything else, it's, it's something you got to work for. <laughs> Essentially, that's the, that's the, you know, short way of putting it. There's typically a lot of work that goes into, okay, getting regular sleep patterns, monitoring, monitoring all these hormone levels, making sure things are correct. Now, one of my favorite things to go through, um, and I've been talking about this a lot more recently, um, is the Dutch test. So this is another page of a Dutch report. And this really talks about, you know, your HPA axis um, here. This is all about your cortisol levels, how your adrenals are functioning. It gives you your melatonin levels when you get your Dutch test done. So this lets me know, are your melatonin levels good or not? There are some people who are not sleeping well and they just start taking melatonin because, <laughs> you know, oh, <laughs> I must, you know, need more melatonin. That's gonna help me sleep better because that helps for some people. But if your melatonin levels are good, it's something else then, right? So unless you're getting that measure, that that level checked and getting that measurement taken, how are you gonna know, right? So if you have not looked into the Dutch test and everything, here's a link right here where you can click, fill out that form, learn more about the Dutch test and learn more how to get one sent right to your house. It goes right to your house. You take it, you send it in, and then I go over the results with you personally, making sure you get all the right recommendations that you would need. So is melatonin the thing that you need hormonally to help you sleep better? Because when your sleep is better, your recovery is better, right? Your energy is better, your metabolism is better. I have women in my 12 week challenge right now that are starting to sleep better and they're seeing way faster results because they're sleeping better. Yeah, so I don't care. Cut all the calories you want. Work out all day long. I don't care. If you're not sleeping, you're not actually getting a healthier body to get those results. So melatonin is checked there. Again, Dutch testing, that's in the comments. Um, check that out. And then again, with cortisol, other things that we talk about with cortisol. Now, the really tough thing with cortisol is that if your patterns are off, right, throughout the day, your pattern should be something like, oh, it rises and then falls and kind of levels out through night. So this is you know, AM and this is PM throughout the day, right? That should be your normal pattern. If your pattern does not follow that normal, um, you know, slope throughout the day, it can be really hard to sleep. Meaning for a lot of people, for a lot of women, their pattern is like, oh, I start off too high here and then I go even higher, but then I come down, but then I actually go up again at night. Well, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay. Your body all of a sudden is getting revved at night and not letting you go to sleep. It's not letting your system wind down. And then having that level be too high in the morning lets me know you had too much cortisol building up all night long while you're sleeping. <laughs> Super fun then. If you then it's hard to get to sleep. And then if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can't get back to sleep. Cortisol levels, cortisol levels. Yeah. Now, Let's throw in the other hormonal component here, estrogens and, you know, progesterones, testosterones, things like that. But for a lot of women, if you are estrogen dominant, if you're having hot flashes, if you're in perimenopause and you can have hot flashes, night sweats, you can have night sweats and not be in perimenopause. I literally did a, a Dutch test 
this week where I went over this gal's results and she was like, yeah, I'm having night sweats. And I was just told that it's probably perimenopause, but I thought I was way too young for that. And I was like, yeah, according to all your other hormonal levels, you are not in perimenopause. You're still ovulating. And then these other signals are here, just the <laughs> night sweats, but that's going to be due to some of these other hormonal levels that are really off for you. That's how we're going to shift and change things, right? So why is it when these estrogens are really high and you're estrogen dominant, if you've not heard that term, it just means that these hormones are imbalanced between progesterones and everything else and your body's having a hard time detoxing. So you get a buildup of hormone and one of the symptoms, hormonal symptoms you can have is night sweats. You can have hot flashes and things throughout the day, but night sweats is very common, especially if your estrogen levels are off. Again, we learn a lot of this information on the Dutch test, but what happens when you have a night sweat that interrupts your sleep? Why, why is that so important? Super fun with night sweats, right? When you get night sweats, and this is again, you can be in perimenopause, you can be in menopause or even beyond. This is so fun. It's so fun. It can happen at any of these times. Yay! Night sweats, what, what comes along with this is a rush of adrenaline. Boom, adrenaline. Yeah. So you get this rush of hormone. You get this sweaty, flushed feeling, and then there's like a surge of adrenaline through your system. Bing! Now you're awake. <laughs> what? Yeah. So that will wake you up and keep you awake, and that's why you can't get back to sleep. It's not a matter of, mm, I need to relax more. Mm, I need to like do all the things. I mean, you can diffuse lavender. You can take Epsom salt baths. You can have the perfect nighttime routine. You can be doing all the perfect things, but if your hormones are off and you have this surge of adrenaline in the middle of the night, bing, your body's awake. And again, all these things correlate together. Your system works together, right? So if your cortisol levels are too high in the middle of the night too, of course your cortisol is gonna feed right into that as well. And this happens again and again and again. You might notice that there are some nights it's better than others. Things can really throw it off. Uh, things like, if you have a glass of wine, all of a sudden it gets really bad. If you, um, you know, ate a lot of sugar, processed foods, um, were extra stressed, right? There you go. Ruins the sleep thing. Just ruins it. Ah, yeah. So it's, it's really, really tricky, but there are so many health benefits to getting good, consistent sleep, especially right now when a lot of us are under a lot of stress, there's more anxiety for a lot of women. So getting sleep and focusing on good sleep is really, really, really important. And if you're struggling with it and thinking, gosh, I need to do something better. It might not be you pushing so hard to try and sleep better. It might be leaning into working with your hormones more to really get a better, more consistent result there. So again, in the comments below, I've got that link for you to fill out the Dutch test where we can look at your melatonin levels. We can see your cortisol levels. I can see your estrogen levels in detail and know for sure, mm -hmm, this is one of the biggest issues in terms of sleep. Sleep plays a, plays a huge role in your immune system, metabolism, right? Gut health, all the things, all the things, energy, of course, right? So that's why I love this Dutch test because it tells me so much information about your body. Yes. Tracy, thank you so much for doing these videos. Oh, yes, Tracy, I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. So again, link in the comments if you want to check that out. Um, my book is on Amazon. My podcast is called The Female Health Solution. Um, and then I also have my YouTube channel, which is just Dr. Beth Westy, that you can subscribe to so you stay updated on all the videos that I do. Yes, Tracy, I'm getting this test. I'm so out of balance. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really incredible. It gives you an incredible picture of what's happening in your body and system. So yeah, I can't wait to go over it with you then. <sighs> See what we find, right? Yeah, yeah, really exciting. All right, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any other questions or um, need any other guidance right now in a specific area. Because again, right now, a lot of us are going through some tough stuff and I wanna make sure I'm giving you the right info to help you take steps towards better health, yes. Um, Jennifer, looking forward to the Dutch test. Yes! Yay! Okay. Um, and then I feel like there was one other thing I was going to tell you guys. 
I can't remember. But if you found this helpful and you know somebody that's been struggling with their sleep, please send them this video. That way they can understand a little bit more about their body and some other steps to take versus, okay, I'm I'm getting to bed at the right time. I'm listening to soft music. I'm not doing a screen. I'm da 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 da, right? Da 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 da, right? Um, it, it can be really, really tough. So yeah, yeah. Um, so it's not just you pushing for something. It's really working with your system more. So, all right, you guys have a great rest of your night. Um, I will see you later.